Alright, hello everybody and welcome. Minecraft 1.9 is finally out. And yes, I did record uh, an episode already where I spoke about 1.9 and my thoughts on it. I decided to scrap that. Partly because it was too controversial. Partly because I decided it was not the sort of thing that I wanted to put up at the time I was putting it up. So, yeah. This is just an average James the, uh, James the Douglas's Minecraft journal. James the Douglas... Yeah, you know what I mean. This is just an average LP episode. Uh, we are 1.9. As you can see, I've got three, ch uh, three chunk render distance. The reason for this is because my FPS is too low when I go to eight chunks. And that's just something I want to talk about. I... As you, as you can tell, there's no sound. Like, the sound... Oh! That was crazy. The uh, the sound does not work uh, in Minecraft 1.9. Now, I want to play Minecraft, and also, the performance is not the best. Now, I want to play Minecraft 1.9. It's just, I'm debating whether I should de uh, downgrade back to 1.8, or if I should stick with 1.9. I'm honestly not sure. Uh, this is something I will decide over time. If I downgrade to 1.8, I will have sound, I will be able to have 8 chunks, quality will be higher. Here though, mm, things are just... I don't know. We'll see. I'll see how the video turns out and then I'll, uh, I'll analyse it fully. Uh, but yeah, we are over here at the multi-purpose uh, skelly spawner. As you can see, I built a bridge. Now, the purpose, the function of this bridge is to get creepers over from that side of the um, of the water, get them across the river in order to transport them to the creeper trap, which is over here. Um, and then they'll fall in and uh, get taken to the record place, the place where we get records. Um, I don't actually like it, partly because the beams are, I think, too high above the water. I built this exact same design on the Expanse server, and it was uh, it looked a lot better there. It's just here I think it's too high, so we might do a different design. Might go for a wooden theme, since we've got a lot of wood around, and we're kind of in the woods. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's one thing that's changed. More things have changed downstairs. We've got the elevator, which we worked on recently. Um, as you can see, the ceiling has got a new design. I've managed to do up the ceiling. We've got a border of diorite, and then a random pattern in uh, in the ceiling. And it's I think it looks all right. I I just decided to put in some bri uh, stone brick slabs, and then I just placed stone slabs and cobblestone slabs all over the place. And I think it looks all right. The stairs there I think need a bit of work, but as of now I think they look okay. Um, it's quite dark, but I'm probably not going to put any lights in simply because when you turn off the uh, spawner lights, it you know it's dark anyway. There's not. I mean, I guess there's light down here, so we could in theory put lights here, but I I, I don't see the point in all honesty. We've got our chests here which we are starting to fill up. We've got the piping underneath, of course. We've got the piping of hoppers that comes from the uh, record farm, the traditional grinder and the XP grinder. And that brings the items to these, this hopper pipe, the uh, dropper pipe, I should say, that goes up. It's powered by these redstone torches. We're running off a clock down here. There's the clock. And then obviously it just transports it along the top of these these chests, and they won't they're not going to get sorted just yet. But I mean, they will be they will at some point. Not sure when, <laughs> but at some point, hopefully. Um, so that's pretty cool. So this does actually work. If I turn off the, I need to turn off the lights, turn on the dropper clock, and switch that to traditional grinder. Skelly spawn. This may look complicated, by the way, but I really don't care. If it does the job, it does the job, and it looks it's it's a pretty it's pretty cool, I think. Just it's, instead of just being you know cobble and a kind of starter thing, it's, I think it looks all right. So the, uh, the skellies die, drop their items, and we should see them arrive here at any time, unless if oh there we go. So as you see, the number uh, there went up. 
and that's uh, that's good. So so yeah, we can leave that running. Although the redstone will be a bit laggy. Then we've got a path going down here. Where does this go? I hear you ask. Let's go find out. Um, I might change this up a bit, but I kind of like it. That should not be like that. We've obviously missed a section. Uh, but this goes down to the zombie purifier. I extended the pumpkin farm, as you can see, it originally went to here, and then I moved it on a bit. Um, so yeah, that's ready to work and good to go. And what else do we have? What else do we have? Spawner lights. Not much else, to be honest. I think this is... It's a pretty cool area, actually. I'm really fond of this. Even though it's just like a spot, a few spawners, it's... I think I think we've got something cool going and we can maybe add a few more idea, ideas around here. Not quite sure what, but I'll get to I'll get thinking about those in due course. Uh so yeah, this is it's not nearly finished, but it's it's coming along. It's coming along, which is good to see. Here we are at the uh the city which will hopefully be finished at some point. Uh we're just here at the cathedral in my last take of this episode I did add some gold to the uh, the sides of this uh, the aisle and a water feature in the middle which I think looks alright I think we might keep it kind of goes in from the outside which I think is pretty cool yeah so I need to actually put my foot down and work on this now because we've still got like half of it to do <laughs> which is annoying but it'll get done hopefully at some point the boats are apparently pretty cool Apparently can ride them on, on land. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's quite dark though, it's I guess kind of the fact that you're a block lower. Got Skelly over there. There we go. It's really weird the just the the weight you control it, so it's forward. Can you go back? You can. You still can't look like backwards, which is, I guess, fair enough. That's yeah. It's pretty cool because before it was just you had to do uh, you had to spam A and B, A, A and D, I should say, instead of A and B. Um, but now you're actually in control of it, and the way you look does that affect it? No, it doesn't. So it's pretty cool. And of course, you uh, your boat doesn't break anymore. Oh, it's crazy! I need to get some practice at this. It's it's just a bit like it. It the control of it is is very very difficult to, for me to, for me personally to master at this point in time. Um, let's collect this boat. Uh, what else is there? Of course, we've got the new sword speeds. We've got the shield. I guess I could talk about 1.9, and I, well, I, 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 in the way that I, I know a lot of people are, are disliking and all that. I mean, personally, I mean, I did like the old combat system, and obviously, and this combat system, obviously, I can't really make an opinion about as I've not actually used it yet. Uh, well, I have, I have in theory used it, but I mean, I've not used it to a great extent. I've not tried to get better at it like I did with the last combat system, but I mean uh, personally I'm up for giving anything a chance um, I'm up for giving the update a chance I mean I, I will still play with the old combat system because I mean it's a really good combat system in my eyes, but um, well everyone's different, everyone ha has a different opinion, which is understandable. Here I just want to test out the pumpkin farm because obviously it didn't work last time with the uh, minecart glitch, but we can test it now. Uh, it seems to be working pretty well. Are we getting a lot of pumpkins? Of course we are. Look at that lighting glitch. Jeez. Jeez, oh. Does that mean no pumpkins will grow? Oh, I guess those pumpkins grew, so. <laughs> That's probably a good indication that we. Uh, we're not going to have a drought. One, two, three, four, four and a bit stacks, which is pretty cool. I guess we can run along and grab some more. Um, but anyway, I'm going to probably uh, end off this episode here. I appreciate we've not done all that much, 
but at the minute I'm still not feeling too well. Um, and I think my I really want to upload this episode and just have a look at the quality uh, with three chunks and with uh, without sound because I mean I really I sound takes away a lot of the immersion for me personally. And like I've no qualms in staying in one point eight. Uh, I know people complain uh, about oh they don't do enough updates anymore or something like that. You know in the old days they used to do tons, but honestly I'm not the sort of person that needs updates to stay motivated to play this game. Uh, I can I could go on an update for uh, a long long time. So I might just switch back to one point eight, even though I know I played in that update for you know almost two years. I definitely didn't. I played in the snapshot buggy snapshots for like half a year and I only played in 1.8 in this world for like five minutes. So, you know, it, it wouldn't be a loss. Um I'm gonna go away and make that decision and next episode next episode I will either be 1.9, dare to stay, or I'll have gone back to 1.8. We shall see which one. I just clarify, I'm not going back to 1.8 because I hate 1.9. I'm going back to 1.8 because there's sound in 1.8. If it was sound in 1.9, I would just stay here. But, in fact, there's no sound. And just for the record, not only do I have my sounds up full, I got subtitles on, which and subtitles aren't working either. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Take care, have a good day, and I will see you next time.